The Planetary Society also noted that you could view other cosmic phenomena during the eclipse. What would that be? What does that look like? Uh, you'll see, if you know where to look, you'll see both Jupiter and, and, and Mars. They'll both be uh, pretty bright because it turns to night, you guys. You see stars in, at 1.30 in the afternoon Central Time. Like, what's going on? Dude, 2.30 Eastern Time. Like, whoa. It's really uh, amazing. And we know that the path of totality is the best seat in the house, but let's say you're not on that path. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get off work to be there. I'll be in New York. What do you what mean? Can you're a big time journalist. You tell them this is a big doggone once in a lifetime event. The next one's in 2044. If my boss is listening, to... Bill Nye told me to take off of work yeah. to, to be well, in Fredericksburg, whole... Texas. The whole, well, Fredericksburg would be ideal, but you're in New York City or some exotic place, right? New well, York just City, drive yes. north. Yeah, drive north to Buffalo or Montreal or someplace and watch the thing, Toronto. Um, so if you're not in totality, uh, the partial eclipse will go over a tremendous area of North America. But it's, I got to say from experience, that's kind of like a cloudy day. I mean, it's worth experiencing and it's worth looking over, over at it. Uh, with the glasses, but it's not quite the same as getting into the total. It's not, it's not anything the same. You're actually hosting an event. We alluded to it earlier, the Eclipso Rama in Fredericksburg, Texas. Can you talk a little bit about the event? So the idea of doing it in Texas, you guys, is the weather. You know, in the springtime in uh, New England, nor uh, the Northeast U.S. and Canada, uh, it might be cloudy. You know, Cleveland is notorious for a dear friend of mine who lives in Cleveland. And, you know, it's, eh. and I've seen an eclipse on a cloudy day. It's cool, literally cool. It gets cold. But it's not the same as really seeing the disk go over the disk, the moon in between us and the sun. And so uh, that's why we're doing it in Texas. And it's in, uh, you can get to it from Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio. And so it's, it's centrally located. The planetary side is doing this at a venue where they have weddings and stuff. It's a big ranch. So there's lots of room and there's camping. There are these cottages. There's glamping if you're into that modern coinage. And so we encourage everybody to come on down. And I'm sure all of your listeners are members of the Planetary Society, the world's largest space interest organization advancing space science and exploration so that citizens of Earth will know the cosmos and our place within it. So it was started by Carl Sagan, famous astronomer. I took one class from him. I was asked to be on the board of directors. Directors. I was at a meeting of the board where we gave Stephen Hawking an award. I was on one side of this British pub and everybody else was on the other side. They took a vote and now I am accidentally the CEO of the world's largest independent space interest organization. Check us out at planetary.org. Back to you, Brittany. 